<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to another fully good video. I got Carl out of the garage. Haven't touched him since I got hit in St. Louis. Uh, he is totally fine. I popped the side piece back on. He's good to go. Started right up. Runs great. Everything's perfect. Um, there is one problem. Well, I have to take it back and go swap it for my Grom for this ride. Uh, it has nothing to do with, the, with getting hit, but apparently I picked up a nail in St. Louis. I show you. I'll take a picture of it. Probably put it on my Instagram, but it's like a big old, big old nail on the bottom there. See if I can get it patched. I'll probably just have to get a whole new set of tires. The back one's pretty worn down anyway. So, old Carl, he needs a clean. He needs some maintenance. So we'll take him back, put him away for some maintenance, go grab the Grom, and then we'll get this video started. I also got a mad update on uh, the guy that hit me. Uh, we found him, and uh, I'm working with the police to try and get something done about it. It's a little more difficult since I waited a little bit of time, and I got some details for you. But we'll go over that as we ride. Yeah, see, I thought the bead popped off like when the car hit me or something like that and I just didn't notice. So I filled the tire up and then loaded my truck up. But when I got to my destination to unload the bike and ride it, I noticed that it was flat due to a, uh, due to a nail in the tire. And it probably would have lasted fine through the night or for a couple days maybe even. But I just don't want to ride it around with a nail in the tire and things get worse, stuff like that. Scared me. I thought that car was gonna turn in front of me. I was like gassing it. Like, oh man, please don't do that. I just turned my headlight on, so hopefully the people can see me. Goodness, that's my biggest fear. Someone turning out in front of me. <laughs> if I sit here and hold my brake. Yep, now my brake's pushed all the way down. It's rolling. I gotta re-bleed that. <laughs> Both of them will do that, but just pump them before you do a wheelie. Not a big deal, right? Just don't forget. <laughs> that Toyota looks just like a BMW. Nice job, Toyota. Classy. <laughs> of course, BMW doesn't use a signal. Per, per signal? It is a beautiful day. 75 degrees outside, I want to say. Loading weather. Two hours later. Still, all right, well, 70 something. 72 degrees, beautiful night. Well, we're out to enjoy it with some hoolies and uh, maybe get some food. I don't know. Hopefully everybody is still here. They're probably not. It's only like 30 minutes late. John just sent me <laughs> the greatest jip ever. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna crash laughing. What's going on? Do I have gas? I'm somehow still on fault. Yeah, I got gas. I'm good for the night. I'm gonna get a Red Bull. And then we rip. Just like the old days. Some things never change. Let me tell you. Ah! It's okay, it really doesn't die or nothing. <laughs> if we're lucky, we will be on Omaha Scanner tonight. If we're lucky. <laughs> bah, 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 da, da, da. Nah, nah. Damn it. Oh, you put the pen in there, didn't you? Yeah. I'm gonna drill mine out next so you guys can't get me. I should have done it like years ago. It's just whipping out sit down circles. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Take the pen and throw it. <laughs> Dude, I've had people take my key and just throw it, so I'm not even, it doesn't phase me at this point. <laughs> we're growing, we're growing like an amoeba. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got a good squad out tonight, this is awesome. It's not every day we get this, on a Tuesday. He's so mad, dude. Don't instigate anything. He's pissed. Off he goes. He's, he's free to go. Goodbye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. It's only 7 o'clock. Holy sh**. Beautiful night. It's not cold at all. Hey! This is true. There's, I need a, there's a lot of revenge and karma coming back as far as kill switches. <laughs> I already, already covered it. Hey, hey. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, I do. Thank you. That was beautiful. That was a good two-handed apology. Later, I want my one-handed apology. I mean, you can use two hands if you want. Not necessary. He's joking around. <laughs> it feels so good when he jokes. Is it really street racing if you never go past the speed limit? Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it! It's a little dark on this road. I'll hold you, keep you safe. Oh God. I can't 
can't screech anymore. I need to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see this burnout on takeoff you talk about. crashes <laughs> this police officer up here has had a probably a bad night and we're gonna make it better with some wheelies he needs to see some wheelies let's do it squad let's go wave at him what's up dude hey man this loops it hard he's dealing with some homeless tweaker on the side of the road right now like come on guys really Whoa, that's a mess. They must have lost something in the dumpster, or that's just a really, really avid dumpster diver. Probably lost something just on like a tray. I've, my sister lost a retainer one time, and we had to like search a whole dumpster. Oh, I didn't have my goggles down, and now my eyes are watering. I'm crying. <laughs> Dang, that thing backfires like crazy. Finally. <laughs> I got a good one. About time. Dang, dude. This car's missing half the back end, bro. That's okay. I take the check, too, dude. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all we got. I'm going to get out of here. Um, well, not the end of the video. All, uh, that's all we got for the ride tonight. I'm going to get on camera and explain uh, the situation with the hit and run and who the guy is and how we found him and all the details, stuff like that. Uh, but the ride's over for now. So thank you for watching this part of the video. Let's fast forward. What's up guys? Hopefully you enjoyed that part of the video. That was a nice little, I don't know, six, seven minute Grom ride. Uh, I had a fun time getting back to the old days and just really getting down to having fun and not worrying about views or anything like that. And being more consistent too. If you haven't noticed, I've been uploading a whole lot more and that's not gonna stop. Um, so I got a lot of details here for you. Um, I am trying to get charges pressed through St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, which is, as you can imagine, uh, kind of difficult to deal with because of the amount of things that they have to deal with. Uh, on a daily basis on their own. First, I wanna say, uh, shout out to Canada Dips. This isn't a paid promotion or nothing. Um, I was going to start a paid promotion with them, but first I just wanted to try the product uh, a little bit more and see how it worked for me. Uh, I completely quit chewing because these are pouches that are CBD, no nicotine, no uh, tobacco. And I started these and it helped with my leg. You don't have to put in any drops of oil or nothing like that. You just toss in a pouch and uh, you're good to go. It's a good time. They got really good flavors. Uh, check them out, canadips.com, uh, I believe, something like that. Matthew Federhofer is the guy that hit me. I don't know the girl's name um, that was holding the bottle of Hennessy. Obviously, like I've said a million times, you know, and I keep doing it. Don't argue with people in the street, you know, don't argue with drunk people, don't get into road rage. I always say don't do it and I keep doing it, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a hothead, it happens, uh, but I'm mainly enough to admit when I'm wrong and to show you guys uh, my mistakes in order to maybe prevent someone else from making that same mistake, right? Or from getting hit by this guy, Matthew Federhofer from, uh, I believe, Maryland Heights, Missouri, uh, outside of St. Louis there. The uh, the video after two days of being, uh, the raw footage being out, it was shared on Facebook uh, at the Patch Neighborhood, I believe, Facebook group of, uh, of St. Louis. And the mother, uh, she emailed me uh, along with a couple other family members all within like one hour um, once they saw the video. And very, very thankful for that because it's not easy probably to rat out your family members. But obviously this guy has burned a lot of bridges and uh, it was like, I think it stole his mom's car and that was the Kia that he was in. And he's on parole for kidnapping or something. I don't know. Some, some stuff like that. You can do your own research if you want to Google it. Google his name. Um, but uh, obviously his photo I'll put up on, on the screen. So, you know, once again, uh, once or twice, I'll make sure that you guys get a good view of him and it, the, his tattoo. So if you see this guy in St. Louis, just avoid him, you know, don't call the police. Don't be like, Hey, that's the guy that hit fool again. Just make sure that you don't interact with this dude. I didn't call the police that night. Cause I don't really like calling the cops. Last time I got hit, called the cops. And then the cop ended up being someone who was familiar with my rides and stuff and didn't like me uh, and put me in jail and let the guy that hit me go. So, I was reluctant to call the police in, in St. Louis that night, two in the morning, you know. So I loaded up, went home, and ended up going to the doctor a few days later. Well, I called yesterday. The Metropolitan Detective said that since there's not a crime scene to base this off of, um, I it's really kind of difficult for her, them to do anything about this. I'm gonna go back and review the footage and see if I can figure out where exactly it happened, the exact time, and maybe a couple witnesses or something like that. Uh, and maybe I can get charges out where they can get a warrant for him or something like that. But this is a stretch and I really don't expect this to go 
uh, all the way through. Um, I should have done it the proper way, but whatever. The justice system is, is interesting to say the least. That being said, um, I also have another video. I dropped a teaser on Instagram. Uh, we were on pit bikes the other day and a guy uh, flashed his, his Glock at us and pulled his, like almost pulled his gun out and then, and then his wife spit on my buddy. I'll share that video here soon too. Um, I'm trying to space out those two videos because there's been a lot of drama on the channel and I don't want my channel to be only drama. I want fun uh, group rides. I want, uh, you know, 110 rides and trips and stuff like that. So anyway, all right, well, we'll be back this weekend with another video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to drop some new t-shirt designs, get back on the merch game, uh, make sure it's premium quality stuff. That's all I got. Grab a sticker, slap it on your bike. Till next time. Peace. They got rims on the caddy with the white walls, bro. Classic. <laughs> oh, dang, that's sketchy. Wow. That's, that's very dangerous.